Let's briefly talk about magnetic tape, which is usually used for backup purposes, or so-called secondary storage, which means that the magnetic tape is not the first device on which you look for your data. You first try to find your data on the hard drive, and only if it's not there, you go to secondary storage, either because the hard drive was lost and you need to restore a backup, or because this data was not used for a long, long time, so it was stored on tapes and put away somewhere. Tapes can have large capacity and are usually replaceable, meaning you just bring a reel of tape and you attach to the tape machine, but their access is fundamentally sequential. We need to seek along the tape until we find the point we are interested in, so tapes are very good for things like backup, restoring backups, and so on, when you're writing things sequentially for a long time or reading them sequentially for a long time. But tapes are not very good, for example, as a virtual memory or something like that. Tapes are slowly dying out, mainly because they have a low production volume, because not many people actually use tape. So the cost of tapes is not dropping as rapidly as the cost of discs, which have much more mass production, so their cost gets cheaper over time. And at this point, it's cheaper to buy an entire hard drive together with all the motors and the head assembly and a built-in electronics for it than to buy some tape and the machine that will read it. So people, for example, use USB drives, which is pretty much an entire hard disk just packaged with a USB interface as a method of backup storage and so on.